Solving inequalities by multiplication and division. Okay, this is the rules for multiplication. If you multiply one side by C, then you multiply the other side by C, and it remains equal. Okay, it remains true as long as C is positive. Okay, these rules right now are only if C is a positive number. Okay, now this rule where A is greater than B and you're timesing by C, this is where C is negative and it changes your sign. Okay, you have to change your sign. It goes from AC is greater than BC here to where AC is less than BC is because you're timesing by a negative number. Okay, so if you times by a negative number, you have to switch signs. See how they're different? All right. Write this problem down. We would, we would do this exactly the same if this was an equal sign here. Okay? I am recording. Well, it should have been. All right. So let's erase that starter. So we treat this uh, exactly the same as if there was an equal sign right here. Right? Negative, so we times by negative 7 over 3. We times both sides by negative 7 over 3. It cancels that out. This is R. Now remember our rule. Okay, our rule said if we times by a negative number, we have to change our sign to keep this true. If we times by a negative number, we have to change our sign. So now I take 21 times negative 7 thirds. So I take 3 of that, it gives me 7. 7 times negative 7 is negative 49. And we can check to see if this is true. So I need to pick a number that is greater than negative 49. 48. Negative 48. Uh, so let's go with negative 48. So 3 sevenths times negative 48. Wait, that one. Let's go 40. Let's go 42. Uh, yeah, okay. That makes it even. That's negative 6, right? What's negative 3 times negative 6? 18. Is 18 less than 21? Nope. Yes, it is. So what does R have to be? Greater than negative 49. Write this down. Negative N divided by 6 is less than or equal to 8. So we have to multiply by negative 6 to both sides to get rid of it. And multiplying by negative 6, that means I have to change my sign. I have to flip it. Okay, 8 times negative 6 is 48. negative 48. Now I can check to see if this is true. Negative 48 divided by negative 6. What is that equal to? What's negative 48 divided by negative 6? 8. 8. 8. Is 8 equal to 8? Yeah, 8 is less than or equal to 8, so this is true. So that's why we had to change our sign. Because if I had went n is less than or equal to negative 48, would this have worked? No. No. Okay. That's why you have to change your sign. Write this down, guys. Is 1 fifth times m is greater than or equal to negative 3. So I take, I want to get rid of 1 fifth, so I times by the reciprocal, 5 over 1. They cancel. My M. Cancel. Now, do I change the sign? No. No, I am not multiplying by a negative number, so I leave the sign. I take negative 3 times 5, which is 15. negative 15. So what I need to do, I can check this. A number bigger than negative 15. Okay. Um, yeah, we could go 0. Is 0, 0 times 1 fifth is 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 3? Yes. Yeah. Yes, so this is true. Okay, write these rules down. These are the rules uh, for dividing with inequalities. We have A is greater than B. If we're dividing by C, the sign stays the same as long as C is positive. If C is a positive number, our sign does not change. Now you have A, to, a is greater than B, but if you divide by C and C is a negative number, you have to change the sign to, for this to remain true. Okay? You have to change the sign for this to remain true. And that's just like the other one. 
Yes, it is just like multiplication. If you're dividing or multiplying by a negative number, you have to change your sign. Okay, write this down. 60 times t is greater than 8. So I divide by 60 to get rid of it. Uh, 9. Okay, my sign remains the same. It stays as greater than. Okay, um, 8 divided by 60. <laughs> what I do, I can cancel something now. I can take... Four out of it. I didn't All right. Mean, I didn't mean it. It's like six or seven. Caleb, it's okay. It's I take four out. Okay. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. That gives me fifteen. So t is greater than two fifteenths. Uh, <laughs> write this down. Negative seven times d is less than or equal to one hundred forty-seven. So I divide by negative seven. Doing that, I have to change my sign. I have to flip it. It goes from less than or equal to, to greater than or equal to, for this to be true. 147 divided by negative 7 is negative 21. Well, we can, we can check our answer see if this is right. It says D is less than or equal to negative 21, so I'm going to plug in negative 21 up here. Negative 21 times negative 7 is equal to 147. This is true. There's my answer. Write this down. This is our last one. Negative 12 times h is greater than 15, so I divide by negative 12. Point eight. Negative point. That means h, now it's h greater than 15, so we have to change the sign to make h is less than. 15 divided by negative 12, I'm going to leave as a fraction. I'm going to take 3 out, that's negative 5 fourths. There's my answer. Here's your assignment. The starred uh, numbers are in, just circle them on your paper. That's how I write them down in my grade book. So the starred problems, you are to circle and write three sentences each.